congratulations again girl First of all, thank you very much, Taj, for hosting us. Thank you, Penguin, and the team at Penguin for doing this for Gauri and all of us. And uh, thank you very much, HSBC, for being part of this uh, evening. And thank you, everyone here, for waiting. And uh, uh, <coughs> by normal standards, I should have no choice not to come here. Uh, my wife is launching a book. I have to be here. But there are reasons which are a little more pertinent than just the book and uh, uh, just a launch of the fact that she's designing houses and restaurants and hotels and except my rooms in my house, she's designing everything else around the world. But still, I'm a forgiving person, <laughs> magnanimous by heart, so I will take that. But uh, having said that, the book does contain a few things that I would like to mention, even though it may sound strange because she's my wife and we've been married to each other for over 30 years and it becomes the duty of a husband to talk like this, but only as an individual because we and Gauri have known each other. She was 14, I was 18, and we've known each other for years. And uh, sometimes when you know each other for very many years, a sense of appreciation for each other's work starts diminishing because you take it for granted. I've been doing what I do for a long time and uh, Gauri has played her part in the best way possible. We've raised three beautiful children. Um, you know, she's been a wife of a movie star who became extremely popular because of the grace of God and <laughs> people like Suhail. <coughs> but, but there was a passion. Uh, part of the journey, but she's always been a little creative about things, how she would do a, a space or do a little drawing or a painting. And uh, I think for about 25 years of a married life, or at least 23, 24 years of a married life, uh, we were just so busy settling down in Mumbai. And, uh, you know, this overwhelming response we got uh, from the profession that I am in, just to deal with it and lead a normal life, bring up children that she never realized that there was an aspect of hers which needed to have some kind of life or some kind of, uh, uh, you know, give vent to it. This book, I think, stands for all that. It doesn't make a difference to all the youngsters, all the people who miss out on a dream of their life to be creative. You can start at any age. I think Gaudi started mid-40s. Uh, 40, okay, only 40. <laughs> She's 37 now. In our, <laughs> in our family, we age backwards. <laughs> so yes, at 40, she started doing this at a time when I even told her that, listen, should I be helpful? I have some friends, we can talk to them. And she said, no, she started a small 10 feet by 10, 20 feet shop somewhere down in Parel, Lower Parel. And she worked it all out on her own and continued doing what she does. And when I asked her now, years later, because she is genuinely the busiest person in the house now, uh, compared to me, my son, my daughter, and the little one, and my sister. And we're like, what are you doing the whole day, and why do you keep doing so much work? And she says, because it satisfies me. And I think this book stands for that, that you follow your dreams, do what satisfies you. Uh, the material end of it all is not so important. Uh, we have dinners at home, which is, <coughs> we don't have any choice in that. We all have to have dinner together. And on those dinners, we discuss how was your day at work. And uh, at the end of the dinner, the discussion is it was a satisfying day. Because she believes a satisfying day is a happy day. And at whatever its stage, whatever age you are trying to follow your dream, at the end of it all, it's very important to follow that, is what we've learned from Gauri. And I hope everyone who reads this book, of course, it's got lovely designs, it's got pictures of the family, it's got some stuff written in it, which I don't understand at all. But it can augur well for people who feel that the dreams have passed them by and they can come back to it and try it at any age without any formal education, which she could not get because she got married very early, 
but still make something come out of it which makes you satisfied. So thank you, Gauri, for giving us this mantra of success to the family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ashwarya, and thank you everyone at Penguin, and thank you for all of you to come here and uh, uh, be part of this. I'm extremely happy and I'm extremely satisfied that I'm here uh, when she's launching this book. Thank you very much. Well, um, the book is more about design, as you know. Uh, Shahrukh has already told you. Uh, well, it charts out my um, journey as a designer. Um, anyone who's interested in design or um, they want tips on interior decorating their homes. Um, so I've just compiled everything together for uh, people to go through design and whoever is interested. Um, and, you know, basically when, when I chose this profession, uh, designing homes, bringing them to life was extremely um, satisfying, exciting, and uh, seeing a smile on the client's face was, it just gave me, gave me so much joy uh, that I enjoyed it so much. I said, I have to pen down all those thoughts and, um, you know, all the designs, all under one book, um, you know. So I decided to just have it all together in this book. So that, that was the reason to just have this book put together. Yeah, and it looks gorgeous. You also mentioned in the book that... Uh, probably the first pre design your Delhi home. And you also designed Mannath, where you currently live with Shah Rukh and the kids. So what, what are your favorite uh, spaces, uh, uh, Shah Rukh? May I inter is, it, is it okay if I talk in between? Or it's yes, yes, no, it's a conversation, so no, please butt in. If it's a show, I can just sit and look pretty. No, no, okay. I was going to ask you, this question was for you, and both okay. of you can chime in. Okay, I just, I just want to say that, you know, when we bought the house we live in now, it was way beyond our means. And uh, being from Delhi, one was used to living in bungalows. One did not realize that Mumbai has a whole system where apartments are even more expensive and bigger. But we are not used to it. Not because I was very well off. It's just that everybody in Delhi seemed to have a bungalow. And we'd come from there. And we used to live, actually, to the house next to Taj, right here, Billy. And uh, which was my director's house. He had lent it to us and said, you stay here as long as uh, you're making films. And we had not too much money. So whenever we, as soon as we uh, mustered up some money, we said, we'll go and buy this bungalow. And it was way beyond our means. Uh, but we managed to buy it, which was one thing. And then you had to rebuild it because it was uh, uh, quite dilapidated and uh, uh, kind of broken. Uh, <laughs> and then we didn't have money to furnish it. And of course, we called one designer. The lunch that he served us, telling us how he'll design this house, was way more than the salary I used to earn in a month. And we're like, this guy's going to charge a lot. So how do we do this house now? We bought it. What do we do with this? And then the only person to turn was, I said, listen, Gauri, you have little artistic talent. Why don't you become the designer of the house? So actually, Manat started like that. So whatever little monies we earned over years, we kept on buying small things. I remember we had gone down once even to South Africa, I think, and we had little money and we bought the leather for the sofa that we'll put on. And all those small, small things we used to buy with, you know, that time when you traveled abroad, I think you got 100 pounds or uh, some amount of money that you were allowed to carry from India. So it was taken only to buy a decoration piece. So it took us a while, and I think that training ground is what actually made her start designing. You know, because Manat is, <clears throat> if I may say, a little big. And then, you know, for her to start doing something at a, such a young age, not realizing without a designer, I think that kind of helped her also to learn. And, you know, then from one thing to the other, she kept on designing stuff. And for me, it's very nice that, uh, you know, I don't have to look for another designer. Uh, I can, I can uh, scream and shout at her. Oh, this is not nice. So you change this and all, which I've never done. I'm just joking. I just wanted to say it here in public. And, uh, you know, it's just easier to discuss what we want uh, because I also have a thing that things should be clean and nice. So I think she started with that whole aspect. And then, you know, she's gone on to design any and everything yeah. that we buy now. So, yeah. <laughs> so what is your... It's a library, which uh, I just like sitting in. 
It's been long since I've read the books in it, but it just feels very intellectual and smart. A lot of people get fooled when they walk in and they say, oh my God, you've read them all? I say, yeah, yeah, 70% of them. <laughs> Well, the book has actually, you know, um, a lot of different things like I was mentioning in my introduction as well from technical aspects, you know, about textures, colors, lighting, to so many other things that you talk about in terms of your projects and people you've worked with along the way. So tell us a little bit about, you know, the contents of the book. The best part of the book, I would say, is the, the family pictures we've, we've done together. Um, to, get, to get all of them under one roof... Um, the kids, and it was easier to get Aryan's, uh, Shah Rukh's date. Uh, we were just waiting for Aryan's date all the time. That when is he going to give me time, and when is Abram going to give me time to get this one picture together? So that's what I've really enjoyed, apart from design. And I believe um, you did that twice. Yes. Right, because there yes. was one photo shoot that we yes. did before the pandemic, and then there was a little bit of a gap because, you know, uh, there was the pandemic, and Corey said, but he looks very different now. He's, he's grown up. Yes. So we have to shoot again. <laughs> we had to do that. Who, me? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you, I thought you were reverse aging. <laughs> She's talking about Abraham. Growing <laughs> up. He looks, yeah, he looks grown up now. Let's do another photo shoot. Yeah, so the book has my, some of my favorite projects, which I've been working on for so many years. Um, and we, I recently did this show, uh, which transforms homes within five days. And it was a unique concept, and it was we really enjoyed, you know, putting that show together. So I've uh, spoken about that, and we've shared some beautiful images. Um, recently, uh, we've uh, also done some, um, you know, product design uh, for access uh, for accessories, and uh, we have put that on Tata Click. Um, that has been. Um, like one of my most exciting, um, you know, ventures lately. Swale is very happy to hear that. <laughs> On Tata Click, I'm yes. there on first. So, <laughs> I'm better looking than you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Looks do everything. Who needs talent when you look like me? <laughs> yeah. So. Um, yeah, and of course, most exciting was Shah Rukh's forward in the book. Uh, which I think you I think it's uh, it's very I mean it's you it's revealing but uh, it's also fun to read and, and the book has a lot of it's very um, if, if we've uh, made it it's uh, lots of images lots of uh, fun photographs of the kids and apart from design because it's about my life in design it's about uh, me for refurbishing my homes uh, my Delhi home um, you know, the home in Bombay, uh, Shah Rukh's Red Chili's office. So it's about my life in design. So it was very important um, to have um, Shah Rukh and the children a part of this book, um, a part of this journey, you know. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm really excited to uh, see how it's uh, come up and it's looking great. So we have copies here for all of you if you want to get a copy and uh, actually read the book, please go ahead and we have a counter at the back. But uh, before we close, I, I wanted to ask you about uh, a challenging project perhaps that you worked on and you still remember. Yes. Yeah, so every project is dear to a designer and they make sure that, you know, when you're working on something, whether big or small, whether it's one room or it's 50,000 square feet, each project has challenges, you know, and um, we have to give it our best. Um, but working through so many years, again, I would go back to Red Chilies, <laughs> which is Shah Rukh's project. Um, he, he's a tough one to crack, I would say, because the team is always struggling to get his approval because he may come up with a better design at all times. So <laughs> that was the challenge. Apart from Red Chili's being, um, you know, has various um, verticals, whether it's the KKR office or is it the production, um, you know, which is there, or the television, the film department. So, so many spaces all under one roof, 
you know, to um, put that all together. And see, all, all, each, each, each person there, it's a different kind of see, Cricket is different, sports is different, visual effects is different, yeah. um, production is different, director's rooms are different, editing suites are different. Um, now I think even uh, we have some television aspects also happening there. And it's a different set of crowd. They may seem all related to entertainment, but they're all different set of people doing different kind of jobs. And I think that becomes, uh, and, and we do believe, I believe, that when I go to a workspace, it should be pleasant and nice. It should be, you spend lots of time there. And uh, I want it to be the best for the people, including myself, when I go to work there. So yeah. it's not that we were being difficult. Yeah, but and, you have uh, to put it in an organized it's manner. It's in one you know? floor. So you one talk about that. Yeah, you have to organize it and make it yeah. still work with, I think, so 80, 90 has, people working there. And still at it, you know, every day there's something new which is coming up. So I think um, I would go with that. I'm tempted to ask one last question to you, Shahrukh, and this is something that you speak about in the foreword as well, uh, where you say that Gauri brings her unique style, you know, a bit of herself, you know, her personal touch to each project that she works on. So would you like to say something more about I think it's very kind of her, you know, to be sitting here and not really talking about all the other projects she has done. Uh, before we walked in, she said, listen, I don't want to be riding on top of the fact that I've done this big restaurant, I've done this big house, so we'll talk about stuff we've done internally, uh, which takes away a little bit of, uh, not a little bit, a lot of hard work she puts into uh, making sure her clients are happy. You know, a living space or an office space are very personal, and people have choices. Um, I, I just like the fact that, you know, when she makes a house or a home or an office, it seems very lived in. It doesn't seem, uh, you know, just uh, sanitized and clean. There's some warmth to it. Uh, it seems like it's a place where she would have liked to spend time to, you know. So, and I think that, that makes it very uh, personal. It makes it warmer. It just makes it nicer. Uh, there are certain things, you know, when we are doing it in the house or outside also, to be honest. I've seen some of the places you design. We go there. And the kids and me always go, oh, look, look, Mama's here, Mama's here. Mama's designed this part, huh? like that. Oh, see, Mama's style and all. There is this personal touch. And she takes it very, uh, you know, she's, uh, what is nice is we all do. In our family, we do work very hard and very professionally in trying to get what needs to be done. It's a culture we follow in our family. But somewhere down the line, when it comes to homes and houses, it is double the responsibility. It's not just a film that you make and hope everybody likes. A house has to be lived in by the families there and loved to death. So that is a double the responsibility. And I, I see her working at three in the morning, four in the morning, and the whole idea is to make it like a, like a home or a, an office which seems worked in and lived in, does not seem, you know, like I said, sanitized and clean and just good walls and good floors. So I think that's an important aspect she spends maximum time on because putting a four walls, floor and a ceiling is the easy part. Uh, making it livable and lovable is, I think, what a designer should do according to the choice of the client, not just your uh, will and fancy. Thank you so much. Congratulations again to you, Gauri. We're very proud you, of publishing the book. Thank you, Shahrukh.